Okay, this video is going to um, illustrate how to do an equilibrium temperature calculation. Here we're going to have a 5 kilogram sword being heated by a blacksmith to a temperature of 800 degrees Celsius. The sword is cooled in a 30 liter bucket of water. The water has an initial temperature of 20 degrees C. Determine the equilibrium temperature. So let's write out our given information. So for the sword, which I guess based on that specific heat capacity is something like steel, has a mass of 5 kilograms, a specific heat of 700 joules per kilogram C, and an initial temperature of 800 degrees C. The water has a mass, well if it's 30 liters, that's equivalent to 30 kilograms. One, um, one liter equals one kilogram, so we can make that direct comparison. Uh, specific heat capacity of 4180 joules per kilogram C. You probably shouldn't be memorizing most specific heat capacities. They'll generally be given a problem, but water, you're going to see enough that you'll memorize it doing these problems. And it starts at temperature of 20 degrees C. Now, what happens here is that the particles from the sword are going a lot faster than the particles in the water. So when they collide, it's more likely that the speed of the sword particles will get transferred to the water than the other way around. So what happens is as they collide over and over again, the sword particles eventually slow down and the water particles speed up until they reach the same rough speed so that the exchange of heat between the sword and the water is equal. When they collide, they're equally likely to speed up or slow down. What that means then if we say they go to the same speed is they go to the same temperature. So what we know is these two temperatures are the same. The heat, the energy change or the energy lost by the sword will be equal to the energy gained by the water. Since this is a loss we say that it's negative mc T2 delta T. And since this is a gain, we say that it's positive MC delta T. With that in hand, I can substitute. So that's all the iron information, now putting the water information in. Now recognizing that they go to the same temperature, instead of calling it T2, I'm just going to substitute that with T. So I got negative 3,500 T on this side, and if I consider that, that will be joules per degree C as the kilograms cancel out, minus, actually sorry, that's going to turn to be a plus because the two minuses come together to make a plus, 2800, zero, zero, one, two, three more zeros, joules. Here I have the joules with the kilograms and the C all coming together to cancel it. Oh, I forget the T here. So that's that term and that term times the T, and then that term times that term times that term. And here I have this term times this term times the T, minus carry units around here too. Joules per C times T minus two five zero eight zero zero zero. And here I have my uh, kilograms, joules per kilogram and degree C. So this just breaks out to joules. This is in joules per kilogram, degree C, and this is in C. Okay, 
So with all that in mind, I'm going to make a choice of which side to move the t terms and the constant terms to based on um, just making things positive, it's easier for no good reason. So I'm going to move the 3500 to the left. And I'll move the negative 2,508,000 to the right. So doing the addition on the left, I'm left with 5,308 or 5,308,000 joules and hundred joules per C times T then if I divide both sides by that 128,000 I can get my final temperature. Which would be 41.2 degrees. That might seem a little bit low, but remember it takes a lot of energy to heat up water and there's a lot of water. So even though that sword was all the way up at 800 degrees Celsius, it's not able to heat the water up all that much. The other thing to note here is the easiest thing to do in this question is to lose a negative somewhere in the middle. And with the way that's almost always going to appear in your answer is if your answer isn't in between the initial temperatures. So the water started at 20 degrees and the um, sword started at 800 degrees. So the two things must come together in the middle somewhere. So if you get an answer like 18 degrees Celsius or 900 degrees Celsius, then go back and look at your signs carefully and see if you've missed a sign maybe most elusively the negative sign on the fact that that's energy being lost by the sword. So that's the equilibrium temperature of the system.